Charters lining up in behind the gate here for race number one. Field of seven, Tisha's Pit Pony, Todd Trites. Mary Be Lucky, Mike Downey, Pensacola Sue, Gerald Legier. Arcane Agent, Steve Trites. Future Secret, Gordy Hennessy. Lucky Northern Star, Mark Haig, Outside Seven, Lucky Alberta, and Sam Hodgen. Field of seven, race one, kicking it off. Here they come. There they go, they're off and pacing from the rail. That's Tisha's Pit Pony firing out on the far outside. Future Secret in between them. Pensacola Sue and ducking over now into the two hole. That's Mary B. Lucky as they go around the turn. Four time number one on the front end. Here it's Trites aboard Tisha's Pit Pony. He stacks them up as they go in route towards the opening quarter. It's a Tisha's Pit Pony racing in second. That's Mary B. Lucky back in third. That's Pensacola Sue from fourth is Future Secret back racing in fifth. Arcane A. Agent. Then we go back to Lucky Northern Star and trailing the field. Lucky Alberta. Quarters up in 31 and a one fifth on the front end. Here it's Tisha's Pit Pony. 31 and one quarter. She's the fraction setter on her back, racing in second. The McCardle Mare, Mary B. Lucky, is racing in second from third. Legere and Pensacola Sue now on the outside and driving up first up here comes future secret the first up attacker in line to Hennessy following that cover second over now in fifth that is arcane agent then we go back to lucky Alberta and third over is lucky northern star Halfway home in 103 and a four fifth from the outside future secret up to match strides with Tisha's pit pony Still there, the mare by a half a length. Tisha's Pit Pony up on the outside. Future Secret at the rail. Mary B. Lucky second over fourth now is Pensacola Sue from the inside. Nicely saving ground. Now fifth, that's Lucky Alberta. Then we go to Arcane Agent. Lucky Northern Star outside the trailer. Three-quarter pole bound here in the first. 135 and three-fifths it is. Tisha's Pit Pony just by a slim margin on the outside in second. Future Secret at the rail awaiting any room at all that's Mary be lucky with an eighth of a mile left to roll here in the first it's still Tisha's pit pony make it a full length and down the stretch they come pacing for home it's Tisha's pit pony Tisha's pit pony up the inside Mary be lucky outside Pensacola Sue is coming on in deep stretch Tisha's pit pony will win the first in for second Mary be lucky Pensacola Sue was third time for the mile 205 four fifths Tisha's pit pony in the first Per rating back to the winner's circle, unofficial winner, race number one, that's the one, Tisha's Pit Pony, a Bay Mare six, by Sherwood Ebb, out of Silverwood Misty, she is by Willow Bird, owned by Bob McNeil, trained by Bob, co-owned by Travis Fowler of St. John, New Brunswick, Todd Trites, in the driver's seat to score Tisha's Pit Pony's first win of the season, time for the mile, 205 and a four-fifths. Tisha's Pit Pony, front end effort here for Trites, 205 and four fists, congratulations. Race number two, top of the stretch, field of seven, trot and pace. Pictonian Best West, Gordy Hennessy. Expensive Marlene, Steve Trites, the trotter, Mal Pacino, Mike Downey. Promises, promises, Sam Hodgen. Kane rise again, Todd Trites. Free leg at Diamond Heart, Mark Hag. Outside seven, Billy and Bud, Charlie Miles. Field of seven, trot and pace, here they come. There they go, they're off and one's trotting, one's on the run, and five are pacing here as they race to the turn. That was Kane rise again on the run from the outside and driving up. Now that's promises, promises, right to the front. Racing in second, pick Tony and Best West. Racing back in third, expensive Marlene from fourth. That's the trotter, Mal Pacino, Diamond Heart, free-legged pacer tracks action. Back in fifth, there goes pick Tony and Best West. Out of the two-hole, pace wasn't quite quick enough. Now Hennessy elects to take that two-hole on the front end here. Promises, promises. 29 and 4 fists 29 and 4 promises promises was by the opening quarter racing in second a handful pick Tony and Best West then back third and tracking that's expensive Marlene then from fourth that's Mal Pacino fifth diamond hard as they round off the top turn and enter the stretch coming in front of us four time number one on the front end here it's still promises promises and Hodgen 
looking comfortable on the lead. Racing in second, Pictonian Best West. Expensive Marlene is racing in third from fourth, Mal Pacino. Halfway home in 102. Then fifth, Diamond Heart outside in six billion. But after the break, Kane rise again, trails the field once again, halfway home in 102, and taking them next to 5 eights on the lead. That's Hodgin and Promises, Promises, as they straighten out down the back stretch. They go four time two. It's Promises, Promises, racing second, eyeing a move out of the two hole. That is Pictonian Best West. There he goes from second, back racing in third, expensive. Marlene on the outside and driving up in fourth, Mal Pacino. Three-quarter pole bound in one, 33, and the three-fifths. It is Promises, Promises. She makes it a full length. Now turning back, Pictonian Best West, who's nipping at her heels in second with an eighth of a mile left to pace here. In the second, it is Promises, Promises, looking to take Hodgin all the way here in the second. On the outside, here comes Pictonian Best West, plucking from the pocket and driving up now in deep stretch. No way they're beating. Promises, Promises, gate-to-wire effort for Hodgin in for second pick. Tony and Best West, very tight for third. I'm calling expensive Marlene over Billy and Bud. Mel Pacino rounds out the top five. Time for the mile, 204 and four for your winner. Promises, Promises and Hodgin, they take the second half of the double, 204 and four. Per rating back to the winner circle on official winner here in race number two. That's the four promises. Promises of Brown Mare nine by Kiev Hanover out of No Friends Ever. She is by Big Towner, owned by Dale Orr of Oak Bay, New Brunswick, trained by Ron Chamberlain, Sam Hodgen, put her on top at every call. They return the winner here in race and number two. Time for the mile, 204 and four promises. Promises, gate to wire effort for Hodgen, 204 and four seasons best. Your last chance in on a ticket here, race number three, field of eight. Here's how they score. Burton Burt, Gerald Legier, Dillinger's Lady, Todd Trites. Satan's Little Number, Rick Armstrong. Hamana, 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 Gordy Hennessy. Golden Days, Mike Downey, Stagecoach Gambler, Mark Hague. Shady Martin, Steve Trites. Ocean Pacific, Outside Eight, Sam Hodgen. Field of eight, race three, here they come. There they go, they're off and pacing from the rail. Burton Bird in the middle, Satan's little number to her outside. Hamana, 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 as they race into the turn. Satan's little number will quickly grab the lead in line to Armstrong. Outside racing in second, now that's Hamana, 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 third. Burton Bird to the outside and driving in fourth. As they go down the back stretch, that's Golden Days. Off stride in the backfield, that was Trites. Aboard Dillinger's Lady, the free-legged mare is on the run. Now as they go by the opening court, from the outside, Humana, Humana, Humana takes the lead in 29 and the two fists racing in second that is Satan's little number Burton Bird watches action from third then fourth is Golden Days then racing back in fifth Shady Martin then we go back to stage Coach Gambler Ocean Pacific after the break Dillinger's Lady trails the field single file not for long here comes Burton Bird out of the three hole on the lead it is Humana 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 freewheeling on the lead racing in second that is Satan's little number Burton Bird outside in third, halfway home in a minute, and a one fifth up the inside. Now third is Golden Days outside fourth. That is Burton Bird. Then Shady Martin is there as well. Then stage coach Gambler Ocean Pacific, Dillinger's Lady trails. As they go down the back stretch now, four time number two on the lead. Hamana, 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 the one two beat. Racing in second here. That is Armstrong with Satan's little number. Back racing in third. That's Golden Days. Three quarter pole land here in the third. In one thirty and a four fifths. On the front here it is. Humana, Humana, Humana racing in second is Armstrong aboard Satan's little number. But the one to beat on the front end here is Humana, Humana, Humana with an eighth of a mile left to roll here. Humana, Humana, Humana brings us on down in front of us for the second and final time. Humana, Humana, Humana will win race number three in for second. That's the battle. It's going to be Armstrong and Satan's little number. Golden Days third, Shady Martin fourth, Ocean Pacific. Stagecoach Gambler, Burton Bird, Dillinger's Lady. Time for the mile, 202 
and one fifth. Per rating back to the winner's circle now here in race number three. That's the four Humana, Humana, Humana. A Baymare seven by Apache's fame out of Matt Gellin. She is by Matt Scooter, owned by Rick Allaby of St. John, New Brunswick, trained by Travis Fowler, driven to victory by Gordy Hennessy. Humana, Humana, Humana. Race three winner. Starters lining up in behind the gate. It's fourth race post time. Franco Krupier and Charlie Miles. Falcons Quick Gerald Legier. Elm Grove Bandit Mark Hay. Camco Wynette Mike Downey. Fundiana Steve Trites. Big Shot Al Gordy Hennessy. Outside seven. I'm the big dog. Rick Armstrong. Field of seven. Race four. Here they come. There they go, they're off and pacing at the rail. Franco Krupier in the middle, Elm Grove Bandit to his outside. Cam Co. Wynette as they race into the turn and quickly. Cam Co. Wynette now grabs the lead and moves out by a full length. Racing in second, that's Franco Krupier up the inside. Falcons Quick is third. On the outside and fourth looking for a spot is Elm Grove Bandit. Nothing there for him as up the inside. Fundiana now fourth. There's a spot for the Bandit. He's back racing in fifth. Then we go back sixth. To big shot Al and trailing the field early on as they go down the backstretch. I'm the big dog. Quarter is up in 30 and the two fists. It is Cam Co. Wynette showing the way. Quarter in 30 and two. Racing in second is Franco Krupier. Back in third. That's Falcons Quick. He's eyeing a move to the outside as they swing off the three eights now and enter the stretch. Here they come pacing in front of us four time. Number one Cam Co. Wynette shows the way to the outside. Moving out of the two hole and driving up. Now here comes Franco Krupier out from second third at the rail that is Falcons quick second over and fourth that's big shot out halfway home in 102 and the three fists it's Cam Co. Wynette outside is Franco Krupier in the inside racing in third that is Legier and Falcons quick outside second over and fourth big shot out inside fifth Fundiana then Elm Grove Bandit back trailing the field is I'm the big dog three quarter pole bound next they go Cam Co. Wynette leads charge racing second up the rail now Falcons quick outside in third, Franco Krupier, three quarter pole bound by that marker in one thirty three. Cam Co. Wynette trying to take Downey all the way. Racing in second is Falcons. Quick, he's under a drive as they come next to the seven eights. Cam Co. Wynette racing in second. Falcons quick, here he comes from the pocket and down the stretch they come. Pacing for home with an eighth of a mile left to roll. It's Cam Co. Wynette outside and driving in second is Falcons quick. Cam Co. Wynette is too strong here in the fourth show win it in for second Falcons quick big shot Al race well park most of the mile he's third best time for the mile 204 and one cam co Wynette in the fourth Per rating back to the winner's circle now, unofficial winner of a race number four. That's the four, Camco Wynette. A Bay Philly three by Talmy out of Dexter's Wine. She is by Paris Dexter, owned by Chris and Joanne Davies of St. John. Trained by Chris Davies, driven to victory by Mike Downey in the driver's seat this afternoon. Put the filly on top at every call. Returned to winner time for the mile. 204 and one, Camco Wynette and Downey take race number four, 204 and a one-fifth. Starters top of the stretch here for the fifth. Woodmere Flying Ryan, Emily J. Down, Vic Victor, Kara's All American, Real Courtesy, Valid Appeal, Dusty Lane Buster, outside seven. Here they come. 
There they go, they're off and pacing. Vic Victor from the middle at the rail. Woodmere flying Ryan to his outside. Kara's All-American to his outside. Real courtesy as they race into the turn. Emily, Jay down, tucks in fourth outside. Real courtesy is fifth. Then Valid Appeal, Dusty Lane Buster trails the field. Downey is calling the shots on the front end here with the seven-year-old son of Liz Ryan. Woodmere flying Ryan on the outside and quickly driving up. Now there goes Kara's All-American. He was second and now he's on the front end here for the Hagler. Quarter was up in a blistering 29 seconds flat. On the front end, here it is. Care is all American. Racing in second is Woodmere flying Ryan from third. That's Trites aboard Vic Victor. As they swing off the three eights now and enter the stretch, here they come pacing in front of us four time number one. It is on the lead here. Care is all American, the big horse looking good on the front end. At the rail racing in second is Woodmere flying Ryan. Outside third is Real Courtesy. Inside fourth, Vic Victor. Second over spotted fifth. That is Emily J down halfway home in a minute and a one fifth. Then we go at the rail. That is Valid Appeal. And trailing the field is Dusty Lane Buster. Halfway home was in a minute. It's Kara's All American going the tough trip on the front end today. Outside and driving up in second now as they go down the back stretch. Four time number two and swinging on the outside. Three quarter pole land here and on the front end here it's still care is all American. Three quarters was on the board in 131. It is Care is all American trying to take Hag all the way outside and driving in second now. Here comes Emily J down as they swing off the seven eights now by that marker on the lead. It is here. Care is all American. He's trying to go the distance this afternoon. He's still on the lead in the middle. Emily J down on the far outside. Here comes Vic Victor cruising, but Care is all American way too strong today in for second. Vic Victor, third real courtesy. Valid of Peel finished nicely. Time for the mile quickest so far of the afternoon. 201 and three. Nice trip on them. Easy victory. Kara's All American. Per rating back to the winner's circle, unofficial winner of a race and number five, official winner of race five, that's the four. Care is all American, a bay horse eight by grin from ear to ear out of Armbro, Orleans. She is by no nukes. Owned by Butch White of Quispam, Sis, New Brunswick, trained by Earl Fram, driven to victory by Mark Hag. He's in the driver's seat for Care is all American. Went the tough trip, got parked. Almost to the quarter, cleared the front. They couldn't catch him. Too strong today. Care is all American. Wins. That's two in a row on the season now for Kara's All-American time for the mile. Beautiful trip on them, 201 and three fifths. Congratulations, Kara's All-American owner, Butch White. Driver, Mark Hag, 201, three fifths. Starters moving in, last chance in, at a ticket, fit up Holly, Sam Hodgen, no stones, Todd Trites. Freestone, Lexi, Gordy Hennessy, Hacksboy, Mike Berrio. Cowboys Don't Lie, Mike Downey. Dusty Lane, Oscar, Steve Trites, Rapid Kane, and Mark Hag. Field of seven, race number six. Here they come. There they go. They're off and pacing. No stones firing out. To his outside, Freestone Lexi to her outside. That's Hacks Boy. As they race into the turn on the front end here, it's No Stones and Trites right where he likes to be. Racing in second at the rail. That is Freestone Lexi. The mare will enjoy a perfect pocket trip in second. From the outside and driving up, that's Hacks Boy. Now racing in third. Then from fourth, Fittipaldi, Dusty, Lane Oscar. Then we go back in sixth. That's Mike Downey. He is. Aboard Cowboys, don't lie, and Rapid Kane trails the field. 
quarter was up in 29 and the three fifths on the front end here it is no stones racing in second is freestone lexi the mayor is loving this pocket trip as they swing off the three eights and it is on the lead still no stones freestone lexi tracks in second nice and close racing back in third there that is hacks boy fit up all the here comes first up attacker on the outside in the form of dusty lane oscar he's now fourth inside fifth it is fit up Holdy. and then we go to Cowboys don't lie in rapid cane halfway home in a minute and a four fifths no stones still clear by two racing in second closing that gap is free stone Lexi then hacks boy dusty lane Oscar up and at him on the outside in fourth then we go fifth fit up Holdy. then back to Cowboys don't lie rapid cane trails the field next stop that'll be three quarters and no stones is showing the way free stone Lexi is still racing in second battle now for third between hacks boy and outside dusty lane Lane Oscar, three quarters, good clip, 131 and four. The three claimers rolling right along here. It is no stones, racing in second. Free stone, Lexi, and you're gonna hear from her before the wire. Here she comes from second. Dusty Lane Oscar on the outside. Along with Hacks Boy, they're battling for her third, and down the stretch they come from the outside. She's loving this pocket trip. She doesn't see many of them. She's seen one today, and she's going to win. Freestone Lexi Gate out of the two hole for Hennessy in for second. No stones. Dusty Lane Oscar third. Time for the mile 202 and four. Freestone Lexi in the six. Circle now, unofficial winner of race number six. That's the three free Stone Lexi. A Bay Mare 11 by Kentucky Spirit of Stone Free. She is by Matt Scooter, owned by Vaughn Pease of Appleton, Maine. Trained by John Davidson. Gordy Hennessy gave her the perfect pocket steer, and she sure made well of that trip. She doesn't see many trips like that, folks. Free Stone Lexi, easy winner, 202 and four fifths. For owner Vaughn Pease, trainer Johnny D, driver Gord Hennessy, time for the mile 202 and four, season's best on the mare, 202 and a four fifths. Top of the stretch with Daya Harlaka, Saul's Brook Dandy, we'll see our dolly dance. Just a reminder Nordic Fever, George Down, Ashby Corner, Mag. A M field of eight here race number seven here they come there they go they're off and pacing from the outside Nordic fever at the rail Daya Harlaka to his outside is Salzbrook Danny will see our dance dolly dances there as well as they race into the first turn and quickly Nordic fever cuts right over even before the turn Daya Harlaka will elect to race in second Salzbrook Dandy looks to be a handful back in third from fourth we'll see our dolly dance on the outside now and driving up here comes Ashby corner and then just a reminder then we go back to George down and trailing the field is Meg AM. All the actions up front. 29 and 4 fifths. Fear leader Nordic Fever. Daya Harlaka is racing in second. Outside in third. That's Ash B. Corner from fourth. That's Salzbrook Dandy as they round the turn and swing off the three eights now and will enter the stretch. Soon to be in front of us. Four time number one on the front end here. Showed Nice gate speed, that's Nordic Fever and Steven Trites cutting the way here, racing in second on the outside. Now Ashby corner at the rail is Daya Haralaka, second over in fourth is Salzbrook Dandy. Then we go to Will Sierra Dolly Dance, halfway home in 101 and the two fists. It is still Nordic Fever trying to take Steven Trites all the way here, racing in second is Daya Haralaka on the outside in third. Ashby corner, then fourth Salzbrook Dandy. He'll look to make a move from fourth. There he goes now, three. Three wide, sucking up the rail now in fifth. That's just a reminder. We'll see our dolly dance. And then we go back to George Down. Meg AM trails the field. Three-quarter pole in. They've reached that marker now in Nordic Fever under a drive. In one, 32, and the two fists. Can Nordic Fever take trites all the way? That's the question. Daya Haralaka will look for some room. He's racing second at the rail on the outside in third. That is 
on the outside third ashby corner and down the stretch they come as they hit off the seven eight it is nordic fever dia haralaka ashby corner just a reminder is there getting tight down to the wire nordic fever will win a race and number seven in for second ashby corner race well just a reminder was there dia haralaka fourth Tight for fifth. I'm calling Salzbrook Dandy for the five time for the mile. 204 and the two fifths. Your winner, Nordic Fever, here in the seventh. Per rating back to the winner circle. Unofficial winner of race number seven. That's the five. Nordic Fever. A bay mare four by Cam's Destiny of No Laggard. She is by law owned by Doug Beckwith of Second North River, New Brunswick, trained by Doug. Steven Trites in the driver's seat. Put him on top, but every call returns a winner. Gate to wire effort, 204 and two fists. Judge is still looking at the inquiry here in the seventh. 204 and two, Nordic Fever in the seventh. Top of the stretch, I wish I wish, Gerald Legier, Henschke, Steve Trites, Island Eagle, Sam Hodgen, a lot of speed, Todd Trites, Lose Town, Gordy Hennessy, West Gem Princess, Mike Downey, Wild Cherry, Scott Hubbard, Materialism, Mark Haig. Field of eight, race eight, here they come. There they go. They're off and pacing as per usual. Henschke firing out now and will go straight to the lead on the outside. And racing in second, that is Island Eagle. A little bit of confusion there from the far outside and driving up. That is materialism. He's fired up here in the early going as they go down the bash. There's a battle brewing up front, and Henschke will win it as Hag elects to take back. Now into the two hole. Racing in second is materialism. A lot of speed is racing third. Island Eagle finds himself back in fourth. I wish, I wish is fifth. Quarters up in 29 and a two fifths. That'll move from six. Lose town as they were by the opening quarter 29 and 2 once again on the lead here no surprise Henschke he'll lead us off 3 eighths now and come in front of us four time one as the leader he's out there by a length and a quarter racing in second as they come down the stretch is materialism from third that is a lot of speed Island Eagle was on a break back there in fourth that is lose town Fifth is I wish, I wish, then West Gem Princess, Wild Cherry, and back to Island Eagle. Halfway home was in 59, and a four-fifths on the front. Here it is still Henschke, materialism giving chase in second. From third, it's Lot of Speed, then fourth is Lose Town. I wish, I wish is fifth, then we go to West Gem Princess, Wild Cherry, back trailing the field, Island Eagle, as they go next to three quarters, being led there by Henschke. Racing in second is materialism. The inquiry sign is lit up on the board here in the eighth, and it is Henschke, the one to beat. Two minute speed for him, 130 by the three quarters, and it is Henschke. A lot of speed is second and giving chase in second. We got a horse race with an eighth of a mile left to go here. And it's a lot of speed now up the inside to take that lead as they come down the stretch. Pace sink for home. Look at a lot of speed. The little fella. He's clear by a length and a quarter. Henschke's back in second at the wire. A lot of speed shows his speed in here. Henschke second. Tight for third, I'll call materialism over Lose Town. A lot of speed upsets them here in the eighth, 201 and three. What a trip on them! A lot of speed. Per rating back to the winner's circle here in race number eight, the unofficial winner here in the eighth. That's the two Henschke. A Bay Gelding 11 by Shandon. Out of Red Lamborghini, she is by What's Next. Owned by Bob McNeil of St. John, New Brunswick. Trained by Bob. Driven to victory by Stephen Trites. Henschke, gate to wire effort this afternoon. Time for the mile, 201 and three. After the placing, Henschke has been made the unofficial race winner here in race number eight, 201 and three. Congratulations. Starters lining up in behind the gate for the featured live race of the afternoon. He's a gunslinger, Sam Hodgen, Pitbull, Hanover, Steve Trites, Wilson's Cam, Todd Trites, Fearless Finzarelli, Mike Downey, OB Viking, Mark Hag, I Gotta Go, Mike Campbell, I Gotta Rocket, Gordy Hennessy. Field of seven, featured ninth race of the afternoon. Here they come.
There they go. They're off and pacing from the rail. He's a gunslinger to his outside. Pitbull hand over to his outside. I gotta go as they race into the turn. Three wide action on the inside. It's Hodge in aboard. He's a gunslinger. Pitbull hand over now takes that lead to his outside. I gotta go now takes over. Pitbull hand over races back in second from third. He's a gunslinger. Wilson's cam tracks action back in fourth and then fifth as they go down the back stretch. Fearless Finzarelli. OB Viking and I got a rocket, trails the field, quarters up in 29 and a one-fifth on the lead. Here it is. I gotta go. Racing in second, that is Pitbull Hanover from third. That's he's a gunslinger. Wilson's cam is fourth, then fifth. That's Downey with Fearless Finzarelli. Action to the outside is I got a rocket. That'll flush Fearless Finzarelli. First up on the outside, now fourth, then following cover in fifth. That is I got a rocket. Almost halfway home here in the ninth with I gotta go. Pitbull Hanover tracks second. Fearless Finzarelli is third. Halfway home in a minute and a one fifth. On the lead, it's still, I gotta go. Racing second is Pitbull, hand over to the outside in third. Fearless Finzarelli from fourth, that's he's a gunslinger. I got a rocket, Wilson's cam, OB Viking. Trails the field as they go down the back stretch for the second and final time. I gotta go, the one to beat here in line to Mike Campbell. Racing in second is Pitbull, hand over Fearless Finzarelli. Going a monster trip on the outside, now second. Three quarters up in 129 and a four fifths and Pitbull Hanover is racing in third. He's a gunslinger. Is fourth on the inside as they have an eighth of a mile left to pace here in the ninth on the lead. It's still I gotta go. I gotta go. Showing the way down the stretch. The veteran son of drop off. I gotta go. Is clear by a length and a half. Here comes Fearless Finzarelli. I gotta go. Will win race nine. Fearless Finzarelli second. He's a gunslinger. Pitbull Hanover. Time for the mile, two minutes, four fists for your winner, I gotta go. Her rating back to the winner circle for the 52nd time in his career, official winner here in the ninth, the featured race of the afternoon, that's the one I gotta go. A black gelding 11 by drop off at a Sacraposi. She is by in the pocket. Owned, trained, and driven to victory by Mike Campbell of Hanwell, New Brunswick. I gotta go. Picks up his first start and his first win of the season. Beautiful trip on him this afternoon. Two minutes for Fist. Closing at home for I gotta go. Two minutes for Fist. I gotta go. Classy son of drop off. Two minutes for Fist. Starters moving in your last chance in on a ticket here for the 10th and final live dash of the afternoon. Full field of eight. Nice looking field of pacers. Here's how they score. Malik Hanover, Mark Hag. Educated Gordy Hennessy. Becoming Jarwa Wayne Hubbard. Tropic Sand, Todd Trites. PH Catman, Steve Trites. Ryan's Fancy, Sam Hodgen. Pembroke Payment, Mike Downey. Longworth Legacy, outside eight, Mike Barrio. Full field of eight here. Race number 10. Here they come. There they go, they're off and pacing. Malik Hanover from the middle, becoming Jarwa as they race to the turn. Educated will duck back third, quickly becoming Jarwa, firing right to the front here. Racing in second is Malik Hanover from third, that's Educated. Racing back there in fourth is Tropic Sand. PH Catman is racing back there in fifth. Back in sixth is Ryan's Fancy. Then we go back to Downey and Pembroke Payment. Back trailing the field, Longworth Legacy, single file order. They go now to the quarter on the lead it is becoming Jarwa racing second Malik Hanover quarter was up in 30 and the one fifth it is becoming Jarwa racing in second is Malik Hanover as they move around the top turn for the first time will next swing off the three eights now and it is becoming Jarwa racing in second on his helmet is Malik Hanover as they come off the three eights now and enter the stretch coming in front of us for time one it is becoming Jarwa out from second here comes Malik Hanover with a bold move on the outside tropic sand will follow that cover now third educated fourth PH Catman is fifth 102 and three then Ryan's fancy is sixth Pembroke 
Pembroke Payment, Longworth Legacy trails the field. Malik Hanover, just like that, the bold move is paid off. So far as they swing off the 5 eights, Malik Hanover shows the way down the back stretch. Next to three quarters, Malik Hanover clear by two, make it two and a half now. It's Malik Hanover under an all out hag drive here with a quarter of a mile left to pace. It's Malik Hanover in one thirty two and one fifth. Racing in second is becoming Jarwa. The battles for third between Educated and Tropic Sand with a little more than an eighth of a mile left to pace here. Can they catch him? Malik Hanover. He's got less than an eighth of a mile to roll. It's Malik Hanover showing the way down the lane up the inside. Becoming Jarwa is racing in second. Down in deep stretch. Folks, that's Mark Hag. That's Malik Hanover. They'll win at easy. Second becoming Jarwa. Educated third over PH Catman, tight for fifth, maybe Tropic Sand, 202, and a fifth, Malik Hanover. Parading back to the winner's circle with his second driving victory of the afternoon. Folks, that's Mark Haig. That's Malik Hanover, a Bay Girl Link 5 by Western Hanover out of Michelle's Heart. She is by Arts Place. Owned by Terry Price of St. John, New Brunswick. Trained by Charlie Price. Driven to victory by Mark Haig. Second driving victory on the afternoon for Haig. For Malik Hanover, that's win one of the season. Nice trip on him. Last quarter paced in 30 seconds flat. 2.02-1 for Malik Hanover in the 10th and final.